There's your deltoid. There's your pectoralis major, pectoralis minor. Pectoralis major kind of does an opposite action to the latissimus dorsi in that it flexes, internally rotates, and adducts. So it brings your arm across to the front, okay, at the shoulder. Deltoid abducts the shoulder. Pec minor works with this big, huge muscle right here. All of this here is the serratus anterior. Serratus anterior. Serratus anterior attaches to the scapula. Pec minor attaches to the scapula. Both of them protract. Protract the scapula. So scapula moves forward. So when the pec major brings your arm forward, the pec minor and the serratus anterior bring the scapula along with it. So this is protraction, retraction. Protraction, retraction. So pec major takes the arm, brings it forward. Pec minor, serratus anterior, grab the scapula, bring it forward. In between the ribs, intercostals. External intercostal, sitting on top of internal intercostal. External, internal. Used to elevate and depress the ribs during breathing. Rectus abdominis. Okay, here it's exposed, here it's covered in the sheath. This is the rectus sheath. Rectus sheath covering the rectus abdominis. Tendinous inscriptions. Give the muscle that kind of rippled, in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pack look. Protects the organs, helps you do sit-ups, flex the spine. Bone, no bone. No bone, superficial. Bone, deep. External, abdominal oblique, superficial. Internal, abdominal oblique, deep. Deep to this. There's a third layer, the transverse abdominis, which is underneath this. We'll just look at that in a moment. Okay? So again, rectus abdominis, two halves, there's the linea alba that connects the two halves. Tendinous inscriptions. Rectus sheath covers it all. No bone, external abdominal oblique. Bone, internal abdominal oblique. Transversus abdominis. That's the third layer deep to the internal oblique. The obliques rotate the trunk. Transverse abdominis doesn't do much. It just compresses the organs. Transversus abdominis. Transverse abdominis leads to quadratus lumborum. Quadratus lumborum is under the kidneys in this model. Psoas major, iliacus, iliacus psoas major, hip flexors, quadratus lumborum, elevates the hips, hip hiker as you walk, also stabilizes the lumbar spine, also helps you do lateral flexion of the lumbar spine, quadratus lumborum. Diaphragm, another skeletal muscle for breathing the nose. 